When you're looking to record rock music in your personal home studio, the most important software component that you'll need is a digital audio workstation. In this video, we'll discuss what a digital audio workstation is and how to use one to record your rock guitar. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with some more guitar related content. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott and I help aspiring rock guitarists improve their playing and music production with guitar lessons and audio recording tutorials. If you find this kind of content helpful, please consider subscribing. Now, what is a digital audio workstation? A digital audio workstation is often referred to as a DAW or D-A-W. A DAW is used for recording, editing, and producing audio files. Modern DAWs have a central user interface that allows the user to alter and mix multiple recordings and tracks into a final produced piece of music. The user interface inside the DAW replicates many of the same features of the old multi-track tape recorders. This includes basic functions such as play and record, and other controls such as waveform, track controls, a mixer, and so on. In fact, many of the most popular DAWs have very similar user interfaces because they're all based on these same fundamental concepts. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using Pro Tools as my DAW. Although many DAWs exist, Pro Tools is still considered the industry standard, and you'll find Pro Tools more than any other DAW in professional settings. For these reasons, Pro Tools is my DAW of choice, and it's the one I recommend in most circumstances for rock musicians. That being said, there are other DAW software programs on the market, each having its own particular set of strengths. Some other popular choices include Logic, Reason, Ableton Live, Cubase, FL Studios, and Studio One. If you're averse to Pro Tools, read the reviews and download the free trials of these other products to determine which workstation you're most comfortable with. Let's dive into the basic functioning of the DAW Pro Tools for recording your rock guitar. When you load up the software, this dialog box will appear. I'm gonna click off this box and move up to the setup menu and select playback. Here, I'm going to make sure my audio interface is selected. For those of you unfamiliar, the audio interface is the piece of hardware we'll need to get sound from our guitar into the computer. Click the YouTube card at the top of this video to check out the video where I explain how to use an audio interface. From here, I'll go to File, Create New Session, name my session, and with the default checked values of 16-bit and 44.1 sample rate, I'll click OK. The main user interface of Pro Tools will pop up. When recording the guitar, we'll be working first and primarily with the edit window. Now I'll prepare to record my guitar by creating a new audio track. I'll go to Track, New, and then I'll name my track Guitar One. I'll use the default settings and I'll click Create. At this point, I've already hooked my guitar up to my audio interface and added an amp simulator plugin to get my guitar sound. So we're ready to record a guitar part. I'll arm my audio track and then I'll click Record on the transport and then Play on the transport. Pro Tools is now recording my guitar and all I need to do is start playing.
When we're finished, we can manipulate the track in many ways. We can trim the beginning part out so the track will start when we actually start playing. We can separate the track into different parts and move them around if we want. And when we're mixing the track, we can add plugins like EQ, compression, and reverb to get the desired guitar sound we want. The options for recording and mixing your tracks in a digital audio workstation are endless. If you're putting together a small home studio, let me know in the comments down below. Check out the description box for links to some popular DAWs. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar related content every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do in fact have souls.